Welcome to the Supreme Court of Florida. Hello, I'm Charles Kennedy, Chief Justice of the Florida Supreme Court. I'm grateful for the opportunity to introduce you to our court, which serves the more than 21 million people who live in Florida. When the founders framed the Constitution of the United States, they understood that the protection of liberty requires an independent judiciary. An independent judiciary is necessary to give life to the rule of law, which is the basis not only for our freedom, but also for our prosperity. The members of this court and all of the other judges in the Florida court system are thankful that we can serve the people of Florida in administering justice under law, ensuring that all people are treated equally before the bar of justice. This court has been performing its duties since the beginning of statehood. And while steeped in tradition and precedent, we also embrace the future. Want to know what's happening here? Check out our Twitter feed. The mission of the judicial branch is to protect rights and liberties, uphold and interpret the law, and provide for the peaceful resolution of disputes. Florida courts are some of the most open and public proceedings in the nation. We have been a pioneer in allowing televised coverage of trials and hearings for all cases. Here at the Supreme Court, oral arguments are available on television streamed on the web, and video archives are free for everyone to see. Our courts must also be accessible, convenient, timely, and affordable to everyone. That's no small feat when you understand that more than three million cases are filed in county and circuit courts here in Florida each year. In about one of every 120 cases heard at the trial level, an appeal is filed with one of the five district courts of appeal. That's approximately 25,000 cases a year. It's important to remember that an appeal is not a second trial, and not every decision of the trial courts can be appealed. Most but not all appeals are settled by these appellate courts. Which brings us to this court. About 2,500 cases are filed with the Florida Supreme Court every year. The Constitution says the seven justices must hear some kinds of cases, among them death penalty appeals and cases where a lower court has ruled a law unconstitutional. Other cases are optional. For example, two district courts of appeal may decide similar cases differently, or an appellate court might say a case is of great public importance. Sylvester Dawson is the Supreme Court's marshal. He has more than 30 years' experience as a law enforcement officer, and it's his job, along with a trained staff, to make sure the court operates. My biggest role here is securing the facility and the employees and, and um, keeping them trained and educated on personal and court security. All rise. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The Supreme Court of Florida is now in session. All we have calls to plead, draw near, give attention, we shall be heard. God save these United States, the great state of Florida, and this honorable court. Every month, our seven justices hold what are called oral arguments. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court of Florida, please be seated. These open and televised hearings come after months of lawyers writing and submitting briefs and responses to the other party's positions. Justice has come to the bench after researching details of the law and are completely familiar with the facts of a case. Many lawyers are surprised to find their rehearsed arguments interrupted with crucial factual questions by the justices. It's about parents fighting over the... So in the definition of contestant, it doesn't refer to grandparents. After listening to the lawyers, justices retire to a conference room where they debate the merits of a case and take an initial vote on what the decision should be. But no case is ever final until an opinion or order is published. And that could take months as the justices exchange memos on the law as it applies to each case and continue their research into the law. In our more than 170 year history, Florida courts have provided order and certainty for our citizens, government, and businesses. 
We have grown from a small backwater to the third largest state in the nation, and the decisions made here in this Supreme Court have helped shape our state and nation. Welcome to our part of history. Want to know more? Visit our website, check out our Twitter feed, read an opinion, watch an archived oral argument.